we already have installed python in our system so in this video we will be creating a virtual environment of that installation as we have already installed python we will have a python global environment set up on our system so this global environment will contain the python executable the corresponding python pip and the modules folder which will contain all the modules we will be installing from pip now the thing is python is often time used by the operating system or other applications so if we change anything in that global installation of python inside the module folder some version mismatch can hamper some process done by the operating system or any other application so best practice is to create a virtual environment of that installation and in this virtual environment we'll have the same python same pip but the modules will be detached from the global modules folder anything we install in this virtual environment which i am calling venv will have its own directory of modules and own versions of modules also so any mismatch between the versions of modules also will not affect our operating system or any other operations so between virtual environment and the global installation the modules does not sync but the python and the pip versions will be synced now the module starts as empty so basically we can think it as a fresh installation but which is not used by any other system on our operating system so after activating this vnv we can install python packages using pip install and the name of the package as we do in the normal uh, global installation but this time the module will be installed inside vnv not in the python global moving forward with this we'll create the virtual environment now creating virtual environment is pretty simple you have a command which is as follows python minus m vnv the name of the folder so you can give any name i am just calling this vnv so essentially this vnv will be the name of my virtual environment itself and uh, after creating this virtual environment you can see that a folder called vnv has been created at the root of our project which will contain a library folder with all the requ required packages and the pip versions and pip packages and and all and inside the scripts you can find the activate scripts and if you see that there is pip.exe python.exe so these are the copy of your global installation of python so previously i mentioned sync so this sync happens at the creation of the virtual environment itself now let us activate the virtual environment in command line interface you open a command line terminal on the root directory and you have to invoke the uh, activate uh, script and for linux systems you can source it so vnv scripts activate dot bat that is the location of the um, batch file and after executing it you can see a vnv prefix has been set so this will signify that the virtual environment is active and as our global installation this virtual environment will also have the same version of python and it can run our main script Now for those who are using Visual Studio code like me the virtual environment is automatically update, uh, activated when you create the virtual environment but you can change between the virtual environment and the global installation by clicking on the uh, button on the bottom right corner now you can just use the play button and as long as it shows vnv vnv it will run there so these two uh, extensions i suggest you to install one is python by microsoft so it will do the code highlighting auto completion and all the next one is jupyter it will support uh, the jupyter notebooks inside visual studio code which we will come back to later now we can install many packages 
but we need to also remember their versions and what are the packages itself for that we will be using pip phrase so pip phrase is, is a simple uh, tool in python which we can use to output all the currently installed packages and their versions inside a text file so you can read up the documentation of pip phrase <coughs> to use pip phrase you just have to do python minus m to invoke the python of course then pip freeze and after that i will put a little arrow and uh, after that i'll put the text name of the text file it can be anything i'll call it setup.txt after the setup.txt is created since we don't have any python uh, packages installed yet this setup.txt will be empty so once you have something let's say numpy so once you have installed numpy this numpy will show up over there after you update it and now to use that setup.txt file you can just use python minus m pip install minus r which means recursively then name of the text file again the text file is empty so we installed practically nothing but this will be very helpful in our upcoming videos so all the code related to the um, series will be available on github you can visit my github from the link in the description and download the latest or any kind any patch of uh, the codes so after you have extracted it you can open the terminal on that same directory and from here you have to create a virtual environment so as before you just do python minus m vnv then name of the virtual environment which I will once again go with VNV. So now the virtual environment is created and as well as the activate scripts are created. So we can activate the virtual environment. We just need to call the setup script. Activate script, sorry and we are inside the virtual environment now once the tutorial progresses further the uh, installation there will be modules that i want you guys to keep updated with my installations so you can use the pip install recursive setup.txt method and that's it